What's up everybody, this is Hemroid, aka Deep Fryer, bringing you another Super String video. Today we're going to be uh, continuing our Abyss series. We're going to work on floor 35. But first, what have you guys been up to? Uh, me, I have not been, I've not filmed a video in a couple of days. I've been spending the last few days editing videos. My latest projects are Tina, and I'm also working on Yak. Tina, I'm just kind of building up a little bit to use in co-op. Uh, I don't have enough speed gear to really bring her up to being ready for PvP. And we all know that you need crazy speed uh, for serious PvP. In Yak, I believe I'm going to be picking up his uh, EX weapon soon. So, I figure AoE silence and damage received, you can't really go wrong. Uh, but anyway... Let's go ahead and take a look at stage 35. It says all enemies will be granted with God Mode for one turn at the beginning of battle, and for every 10 turns, all enemies will also be granted uh, with God Mode for one turn. Now, God Mode means uh, God Mode means you can't do anything to the monsters. You can't cannot damage them at all. So, since they're going to uh, continually be giving themselves this buff every 10 turns. The key here really is to, well, number one, you can dispel uh, the god mode buff off of the monster. Um, and you also want to have really heavy single target damage so that when that god mode buff does come off of the enemy, you can uh, kill them quickly before it gets reapplied. So, honestly, the, the team that I recommend for this is 100%. Uh, Wansul, Kira, Uchida, and Kang Song Yong. Now, um, I do have a video of myself clearing this stage uh, a while back, one of the previous Abyss seasons. Now, it was before I started doing the whole, you know, commentary on video and everything, so it's just a video. Uh, but you're welcome to go back in the history of my channel and check that out. But, you know, I like to punish myself. So, I'm going to try something a little different. I mean, we're going to stick with the same kind of strategy. But I'm going to try something totally different. That I, I don't know if this will work or not. I'm just kind of trying this on the fly. Now, Sando does not get enough love. When the game was new, everyone raved about Sando, it seemed like. Um, she's top tier in, you know, raid, all kinds of stuff, but she's kind of fallen off a little bit, and I don't think she gets enough love. I think she has the potential for, uh, some crazy damage, and just an overall good unit for single target DPS. But now you do need to have some debuffs applied for Sando to really shine. So we are going to bring Uchida, I'm bringing Kawuka for the AoE Dispel, but now that's on a longer cooldown, so... I need Uchida also because uh, Uchida has a single target dispel that is not on as much of a cooldown. Uh, now this fourth slot, I am not, really not certain who I want to bring. Mm, you know, let's bring Juan Miho. I haven't used her in a little while, which I'm about to need to use her on Abyss Floor 38. But anyway. Let's just uh, use her, see what happens. We're going to get some speed for Uchida. Juan Miho, I absolutely need her to survive. So, uh, I don't know, defense or hit points, you know, take your pick. Because the HP would help her heal just a little bit. But, uh, but I'm going to go defense. I truly don't know if this is going to work, guys. I've never cleared this floor with this team. Uh, now, my units are a lot stronger than they were last time I would have tried something like this. Um, should I go speed on Sando? You know what? Let's go attack power on Sando. I really, really need to one-shot these mobs while they're debuffed from Uchida. So, and Kawuka. That's tempting to go speed also, but I really want Kawuka to help pull the weight. Uh, since I'm only bringing, pull the DPS weight, since I'm only bringing one other uh, DPS unit here. So, okay, let's just jump in here and see what happens. Let's see if this works. 
I love going on this journey with you guys, um, because the reactions are real. We keep it 100 here at Deep Fryer Gaming. So, we'll see what happens. Okay, here we go. Hopefully we get some good RNG with Uchida's Freeze. I believe we're just gonna go all out. We're gonna go all in from the very beginning of the match. We're gonna see if we can get some mobs frozen. That's a very good freeze proc. We've got four out of five frozen. That is fantastic. You can't ask for more than that. And now here's what's fun. Since they have God Mode, Kaluka's Dispel is not gonna remove the freeze, but now if Kaluka procs Morningstar, the free, okay, Kaluka did not proc Morningstar. That's actually good, because if Kaluka would have propped Morningstar, which is the passive where Kaluka does an AoE attack after any attack, it would have unfrozen some or all of those mobs. Now, Sando, we're gonna go ahead and use her ultimate on this mob, one, one solo mob that is not frozen. So she made quick work of him. And I want to try to go, I want to get these attack units killed as quickly as possible because I don't want them to kill Uchida. They have unit type advantage over Uchida and I need Uchida for that spell. Uh, so those two are dead now. Now I don't want to wake up the gold goblin, this healer goblin because uh, he will AOE heal and cleanse at the same time. He will remove my debuffs and he'll remove the, the, the freeze. So let's just, uh, let's go for this tank class enemy next. Now, I don't have a tank, which is a little scary, you know, when you're using Sando, because she's so squishy. Well, that's her downfall, but, but I think we're gonna be okay. I can shield with Kaluka right now, but I, want, I really want to take down this, uh, this tank unit while I can while the god mode is dispelled. Okay, he is almost dead. We should be able to take him out right here with Sando. Very good. Okay, now, who's going next? The goblin is going next. So what that tells me, if I try to go ahead and use Uchida's ultimate to put a defense down debuff on one Miho, that goblin may very well cleanse it. So I would be wasting my time. So I'm just gonna use a regular attack. They still they have God Mode right now anyway. So I did curse uh, I did curse the boss though with Uchida's regular attack, which was kind of nice because it may have prompted that Gold Goblin to waste his cleanse, and now his cleanse is on cooldown. So let's let's try to take out this uh, Gold Goblin. I'm gonna put this. Let's see. I'm gonna put the attack boost, Juan Miho's attack boost from skill 2, I'm gonna put it on Sando, and now, now I'm going to use Uchida to debuff this goblin with defense down. And Sando, uh, say, well, shoot, I should have been paying closer attention, that was turn 20. So, if I had been paying closer attention, I would have saved that. And actually, I think it's okay anyway, because uh, Uchida can now dispel the god mode. The, uh, the goblin still has the, de the defense down. And Wuka can make short work. Now, we're in great shape here, guys. Um, you know, what can I say? Um, it also could be... Now, I'm not gonna... I'm gonna save Sando's ultimate for... If I can, uh, in case I can get another debuff on the boss before the end of the fight, which, you know, it's gonna be over soon. And yeah, it looks like I can get uh, some more debuffs. Um, but anyway, it could, it could be because of, I really want to use Sando for this, for, for the a killing blow while the boss has these debuffs. So instead of attacking with Kawuka, I'm just gonna use Kill. But now the reason I'm having such an easy time, it could, well, it, number one, it's, it's uh, greatly because of having upgraded my agents a lot since last time I did these stages. Now, it is turn 30, so the, if you'll notice, the boss just uh, put God Mode on again. But since Uchida has such a low cooldown dispel skill, and we've got Juan Miho reducing that cooldown, we're just going to go ahead and take that God Mode right back off of there. But anyway, the number one reason why I'm doing so well 
is because obviously I've upgraded my agents a lot since the last time I did this thing. But now, another thing to consider, the last update that came out for the game uh, released the, um, the Universe Awakening effects, and all of our characters got a lot of additional buffs. You know, if you've been around a while, you've got a lot of awakenings on your characters, your units, then you got a whole lot, you got a whole lot more buffs. So that, that could be part of it. But yeah, we just steamrolled 35. No problem whatsoever. Um, so anyway, I think I've got a couple of, I've not been opening loot boxes for you guys lately. And I feel bad about that. So let's go ahead and open this. We got an SS loot box just now uh, from Abyss 35. Easy money. Um, but let's open this uh, A to SS first, just to kind of save the best for last. I'm really hoping for that Samus uh, Auxiliary Core to be a uh, Speed Fate Tie, Divine Speed Fate Tie for Meyer. I've already got one, but it rolled crazy good speed, like 20 plus speed, so I've got it on like Tang Song Yon, I think. But anyway, let's just see what happens. I would like another another one of those, but okay. We got Meyer's weapon. Uh, it's not got speed. It's full DPS, though. But, you know, Meyer needs status for the Oblivion. Needs speed because she's a debuffer. So I'll probably just sell that. Now, it's time for the big kahuna. SS. What am I looking for? I did get Cornelia's EX weapon now. I'm no longer looking for that. It was decent, decent enough stats on it. And, you mainly want it for the uh, EX effect, anyway. I really need Kawuka's EX weapon with with a lot better stats, and really that's the main thing I want. But let's let's just see what happens. I won't talk you guys head off. We got an ignition bat. Um, wow, wow. We got a good ignition bat. We got speed, crit damage, crit rate, and attack power. Holy cow! That's fantastic. I need to take a look. Gosh, I already upgraded that to 15, but if... Uh, what do I have here? Okay, I've actually got speed, crit rate, crit damage, and status. I mean, status isn't terrible for a tank. It can help you a little bit with the taunts. It looks like I've had, uh, had my upgrades roll into speed and crit damage. You know, I don't know, guys. I might just stick with the one I've got, just because of all the resources I've used, and it's really fantastic also. Um, but anyway, I've taken up enough of you guys' time. I've uh, talked your heads off a bit today. Um, so, I'm just going to end it there. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. I hope you have a great weekend. And uh, we'll talk to you next time. This is Hemroid. Out. I'm going to take matters into my own hands. You'll see. Bring it to the hole! Your ass is mine! Woo! 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 You sound like a, a big choo-choo train. Woo! <laughs> <laughs>